Do you like hard boiled eggs? I like hard boiled eggs. What's the most annoying thing about hard boiled eggs? Peeling them. Welcome to this week's video. I always get so aggravated when I am peeling hard-boiled eggs. Dan and I have been on a hunt for years trying to figure out the best way to peel a hard-boiled egg. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You add vinegar to the water while it's boiling, you add baking soda to the water while it's boiling, you put it in an ice bath, I don't know. None of it works. It doesn't look like an egg anymore. Like you took off chunks of the white part of the egg. It's just so frustrating. Because I'm so frustrated about it, I thought I would try to figure out what is actually the best way to peel a hard boiled egg. Today we are going to do a science, we are gonna run some experiments, and we will see what is the best way? I have six options that we're going to test today, all from different places, videos, things, different hacks. Some of them say you'll peel a hard boiled egg in 10 seconds or less. We'll find out today if that's the truth. And I will link all of those videos, websites, whatever down below. So if you want to check them out, if one of them ends up working, then you'll definitely want to check it out. And I'm totally going to use it all the time. Before we get to peeling, Go ahead and click that like button down below if you want to see more videos like this, more kitchen experiments. And if you want to go ahead and keep seeing videos from me, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And now we'll get started. I would like to say that all of these techniques do not use vinegar, baking soda, whatever in the water. It is just a method of how you either peel the egg or how you boil it and then like cool it and then peel it from there. None of them are anything that you add to the water, do anything really different. I've gone ahead and boiled four eggs, just how I would normally boil an egg. And those are the ones that are just based off of technique of how you would actually peel the egg. The first technique, which really will be two because we're gonna test two different types of eggs. One of the eggs will have a thumbtack hole in the bottom of it and one will just be a normal egg. But basically, it goes on how you heat the water, put the egg in the water, then you heat it for about 30 seconds, then you cool it, and then you cool the egg into an ice bath. This is gonna be a process, so in the interim, we'll be trying other techniques with my four different eggs, which will be fine. Let's see how this water's doing. So the water is almost boiling, not quite there yet. I usually, when I make, hard boiled eggs. I use this egg timer, this guy, you can't see my finger, there you can see now. And he does wonders. It lets you know exactly how you want your egg done based on where the black goes. It's great, I highly recommend it if that's what you do a lot if you make lots of hard boiled eggs. Anyways, we're gonna wait a little bit longer, see if the water gets to a boiling point and then we'll put our eggs in. Okay, so I would say that that water is boiling now. And so we will go ahead and start working with the eggs. We'll just put them in. The first one I'm going to do is, I'm gonna poke a hole into the bottom of, not that one, this one with my thumbtack. Here's my thumbtack and then here's my egg. So basically it said that you needed to just poke the hole right at the top, but I can't seem to get it. Oh, 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 there it goes. Okay, so it went in. Okay, well it's here, and so what we're gonna do is lower it into the pot for 30 seconds with the boiling, and then we're going to take it off the heat and just let it do its thing for 15 minutes, so. Let's see if that works. It's gonna go in. <gasps> that was bad. Well, that was a good. After I checked, it was not the one that I put the hole in it. I guess that egg was already semi-cracked. I kind of noticed it before, but I thought it would be fine. So we're just gonna gently lower this egg in, and then we're going to wait 30 seconds. All right, so it's been 30 seconds. I'm going to take this off the heat now. I'm just going to turn it off. 
and then we're just gonna let it do its thing for 15 minutes. I'm gonna set a timer. So I just set the timer for 15 minutes and while we are waiting, let's go ahead and try some of the peeling techniques that I saw. So the first one that I saw was you take just water and they do it in a cup, but for this sake, I don't wanna get it like a huge mess. You fill up a cup with water and then you put the hard boiled egg. It didn't give any information on how to hard boil it. So I just hard boiled the egg like I, I would normally do. So I'm gonna put the egg right here in the water and then you're supposed to cover the cup with your hand and then shake vigorously. Cause I don't wanna cover the cup with my hand and get water all over the place. I'm just gonna cover it with this lid and then shake vigorously. Vigorously, it's bigger, it's bigger. I'm saying it right, it's just a weird word. So I shook it pretty good. I would say that was vigorously. Basically what's supposed to happen is the, the shell will just peel away from the egg. Maybe it didn't do it enough. Maybe I had too much water in it. Let's try this again. I would say that this is not what, oh. I wouldn't say that it's the most attractive peeled egg. As you can see, it's got lots of lumps and bumps to it, but that was much easier to peel away all of the shell. I'm sad that it's not as beautiful as the one in the video that I saw, but this definitely worked. You just need to make sure you have a good like water to space to egg shaking ratio, but that was, that was pretty good. So the next one I'd like to try, which I need to probably get my surface dried first, is another peeling technique that's called the tap and roll, which I don't know how y'all peel y'all's hard boiled eggs. Generally, I just like tap it all over and then I just like slowly pick away at the shell, which is probably the worst way to do it. So basically what the girl did in the video was she just tapped it and then rolled the egg. Tap, roll. So it's clearly cracked all the way around and then I should just be able to peel it. Well, no, mm, nope. It like took the, it took the whole top of this off. I just, I don't understand. I wouldn't say that this was easier. I'm gonna just give up on this one. The whole tap and roll thing doesn't work. The next technique I would like to try is the teaspoon method. So you take a tiny teaspoon and you crack the bottom of the egg. You peel it away about like a size of a quarter is what they said, maybe a nickel, I don't know. And then you basically put the teaspoon into the egg and release the membrane and the shell away from the egg itself. I don't know if that'll work. I've never seen it. Well, that's a lie. I saw it in the video and it worked in the video, but also in that same video, the tap and roll worked and I do not think that one worked. We're gonna try this one. So we're gonna crack the bottom of the egg and then peel away about quarter size. I might have just done a little bit more than a quarter. And then I'm gonna put the spoon underneath the shell and then rotate. Oh my God. Do you see what I am seeing? That worked wonderfully. That was amazing. I am literally shocked by this. Oh my God. This is gonna change my world. I think we have found the hack. Wow. So before we do the last one, I'm gonna wait to do that one until we can put the eggs into the ice bath because they have to be in there for like 15 minutes also. All right, so it has been 15 minutes. I'm gonna take these bad boys out of the water and put them into the ice bath. So we are going to move this pot over to my island. Here's one egg, it's gonna go into my ice bath. And here's the other egg. And it's gonna go in with the other egg. So while we wait for the ice bath to kind of, you know, do its thing, the last peeling technique that I saw that I think is just really funny 
which I really just don't think works. However, in the video, she got it to work. You take off like a dime size on the top of the egg of the shell. And then on the bottom, you take off about a quarter also. And then you blow into the smaller hole, which releases the egg from the shell and it just comes out. I don't really have a lot of faith in this one, but who knows? She got it to work and she seemed really surprised in the video, which I would be really surprised also if this worked. So, no! No! No, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And then you just, you blow into the egg. Okay, okay, let's try this again. Ready? This can't be real. Like, this just can't. Okay, let's try. I made a bigger hole now. They're all bigger holes. I <laughs> think. <laughs> this person just like made this up to like screw with someone, didn't they? Like, this seems like something I would make up to someone and be like, you know, what you can do is you can like peel the bottom and then peel the top of the egg and then, you know, like blow it out. I was really hoping that would work. That would be such a cool party trick. That girl buys, except it's the same girl that taught me the teaspoon trick. I do think the biggest trick of it all, which is probably why the teaspoon one works so well, is you have to get the membrane. If you can get the membrane, then you can get like the whole egg to just release. I'm not like an egg expert, but if I was, that is what I would tell you. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and try to peel the one that doesn't have, so this one has the hole. And then this one doesn't. So this went through the same process as the one with thumbtack. And I'm just going to see if it feels better, I don't know. Oh, 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 we have an odd discovery here. It is not a hard boiled egg. It is a soft boiled egg. That's gross. I, I don't even know what to say about that one. Do you think the one with the thumbtack has the same issue? All right, so this one is also soft boiled. However, it does seem to be peeling a bit easier. Maybe it just needs to be in there longer than 15 minutes. Nope, nope, nope. I give up. Nope, 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 nope. So guys, I think we learned some valuable information here today. Basically, all of the hacks that you could ever try, really the six that I'm doing here today, don't work except for one, the teaspoon trick which is now going to be my favorite thing in the entire world. And I can make hard boiled eggs when I have a manicure. So that way my nails don't get messed up. And like, it's just, it's a time saver now. I mean, not that peeling an egg really takes that much time, but it really has made a difference in my life. And I'm so glad I tried this. And if you like this video, make sure to click that like button down below. And if you want to see more science experiments, let me know what has been giving you frustrations in the kitchen. And I will try it out. Just let me know down in the comments below. And I will see you all next time. Bye.